Hi, so you are all set to uh, go with your uh, uh, line follower robot using logic gates, right? Let's continue with the algorithm now, okay? So we have uh, three sensors here, S1, S2, S3, and it's my line here. And uh, we have four outputs for the motors as I explained earlier. M1, M2 are the outputs of the first motor and uh, M3 and M4 are the outputs of the second motor, okay? So, we have to just write a, uh, you know, a symbolic equation or a, a set of logic input and output functions for these, okay? Uh, so, let's see, uh, writing in bin terms of binary, that is zeros or ones, that is, uh, if, uh, let's say, uh, the robot is in, in this position, okay? So, and our S1 sensor is here in the robot, S2 sensor is in the middle, S3 sensor is in the right side of the robot, which is force, uh, facing towards the ground and uh, detecting whether there is a line or not, okay? So, we have only the S2 sensor on the line. So, if, uh, let's take the logic, uh, you know, uh, uh, operations like, uh, our assumptions, let's take it as S1, S2, S3 are sensor outputs, okay? Let's take the truth or false values as zeros or ones, okay? So, if, let's say, uh, uh, any if any sen any of these sensors are on the line, so we'll give it a value of 1, okay? So, now S2 is on the line, so we have given it as 1, S1 is 0, because it's not on the line, and S3 is on the white part, so it is also 0 value. So, that's how we do it, okay? And so, now, we have to consider all these type of scenarios. So, uh, see, the combination of 3, you know, binary digits, so we'll have uh, up to 8 combinations, right? 8 different types of combinations. So, let's write that, that down first. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 0 and 1 1 1 so these are the different 8 uh, types of combinations that we can get with these 3 values okay so for an example I'll tell you uh, if this 2 are 1 that is S2 and S3 are 1 1 and this is 0 so this means that both the sensors S2 and S3 are on the line okay on the line and S1 is not on the line okay this one Okay. So, uh, you can, uh, so we can tell that there is a slightly a right turn okay, uh, on the path. So, because that S2 and S3 are both on the line. If only the S2 part is on the line, so we can stay, say that it is a straight line, right? Because both of these S2, S1 and S3 are zeros and only this one is 1. So, we can say that this is a straight and this is a right. And similarly, we can say that this is a left. Right? You got my point, right? So, Right. Uh, so, proceeding further, uh, let's write the output functions for the motors. That is, what logical values should be should be sent to the motors for the robot to take its actual turns. For that, I have to make you an assumption, as I, I explained in the earlier video about DC motors and stuff. So, we have to be giving uh, uh, binary values for these. Uh, as a, uh, we have to assume binary values for these. Uh,